Hey everyone, in this functional demo I'm going to give you a brief look at how you can import facial morph data from any 3D model into iClone. In this example I'm going to use this model that I have loaded up in Maya. You can see that the model already includes a lot of facial blend shapes. To see the final form of the blend shape, I can enter in a value of 1 in the show field on the right. Or I can go up to the blend shape window in animation editors and raise the sliders to see the gradual morphing effect. The blend shape data for this model includes full facial expressions, but also movements targeted to certain areas like the individual sides of the mouth. So now that I'm done showing off the blend shapes, I'm going to export the model into FBX so I can bring it into 3D Exchange. Once I've loaded the FBX into 3D Exchange, you'll notice that there is a morph list with all the blend shapes listed, a new feature to version 5.4. Inside the morph list, you'll find the base mesh as well as all the morph target meshes. That's basically all there is to it. From there, you'll simply want to follow the standard procedure of converting to a non-standard iClone character. This model is actually a custom character, but to save time I'm going to use the Daz Genesis bone mapping preset, as a lot of the bone names are the same. Once you select the active checkbox, then you can begin to modify your model's properties such as hip offset, and begin to map the facial bones as well. This particular model has bones that control the eyeball movement as you can see here, and I can use the special eye mapping buttons to rig those. After that, I want to go into the expression editor so I can begin to set the morph targets for my various iClone facial animation tools. This is done in the head tab by adjusting the actual head bone to the appropriate angle shown in the reference image. Once the head is all finished, the eyes are done pretty much the same way. Here I just need to rotate the eyes to the corresponding position. Once I've done the first one, then I don't even need to press the set button. Just clicking on the next icon will auto set the position. From then I can move on to the next tab such as the semi, which contains the data for auto lip sync, and muscles, which contains the data for facial puppet. You'll see that in the Visemi tab, for example, there are a bunch of sliders on the right. Increasing the value of these sliders will set the strength of each morph target data included with the model for use in iClone. You can also copy and paste data from one Visemi to another in order to save time. After that, I'm going to do the same thing with the expression data in the Muscle tab and increase the sliders to the amount that I want. Once you've defined all the data here, you can then use your character just like any other iClone standard character. This means that you can use features such as Facial Puppet, Auto Blink, Look At, and Lip Sync, which makes animating your character a lot faster. Once you've set all the morph targets for your model in all the expression editor tabs, then you can export your model and check out the data in iClone. In the Puppet panel, I can check my head orientation by going into the Facial Puppet tool and selecting specific features such as head tilt, eye movement, blinking, or jaw movement. It's always a good idea to take a look at the model's look at compatibility as well by going into the Avatar section of the Actor tab and selecting Look at Camera. You can see the results here as I move my camera around. Another new feature in iClone 5.4 is the expansion of the Auto Blink feature. Here you can select different Auto Blink templates depending on your character style. This child template will give a quick and innocent looking two blinks at a time as you can see here. Don't be fooled by those innocent eyes, remember she is a fox. Next I'm going to test out my Visemi morph targets by using the text to speech tool here. After I type in something really quickly, I'll just press play. Test text to speech. You can see that my auto blink and lip sync work just fine. 
I can go further into the timeline to check on the individual Vasemi templates by adjusting the expression strength. You can also have fun by testing out your character's facial animation with other facial puppet profiles. Selecting individual parts of the face will allow you to test out individual features as well. The facial expressions you're currently seeing are all a result of how I defined each morph target in the muscle tab of the expression editor back in 3D Exchange.